Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Football Betting Series here on YouTube. It's been a mixed bag so far in November with 11 wins, 5 losses and 2 pushes for a total profit of £56.31. And when we add that to our overall record, the series is standing at 64 wins, 22 losses with 10 pushes and a total series profit of £452.11. Over the last couple of weeks we've kind of bounced up and down a bit but I'm hoping for a wee bit more consistency in the weeks ahead. So to that end, if you think I'm talking some sense, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content. Without further ado, let's get into it. Our first selection sees 15th place Leicester City playing host to 3rd place Chelsea. And Leicester, they were soundly beaten by a resurgent Man United side in their last game, by 3 goals to nil, in a match in which Leicester had only half the shots compared to the Red Devils. In terms of form, this does mean that the Foxes are now winless in 3, with no win in each of their last 4 competitive matches. They play a Chelsea side who drew their last match against Arsenal. After a goalless first half, Martinelli made the breakthrough in the second, only to be levelled off by Pedro Neto. Chelsea may be counting their blessings as that Arsenal did have a chance right at the end, but Trossard's touch was not enough to steal the win for the Gunners, the game finishing 1-1 with a draw. In terms of form, this does mean that the Blues of London are unbeaten in their last three, but one win in their last five is not ideal from this point, as they find themselves 10 points behind Liverpool in the title race. In terms of the head-to-head -head record, the last encounter took place in the FA Cup back in March, Chelsea running out 4-2 winners in which they dominated the proceedings. This victory did add to a three-game winning streak for the Blues, and they are unbeaten in each of their last six competitive meetings against Leicester. My prediction for this game... As inconsistent as form has been of late for both sides, I think this does represent a good opportunity for Chelsea to pick up three points against a side who are going to be fighting at the bottom of the table this season. Chelsea have one of the best records on the road this year, and Leicester are in the bottom half at home. All of this said, Chelsea have been an inconsistent side, and we are just coming off an international break, which really does disrupt the form. So with that, I do want to back Chelsea to win the game, but only for a half stake to open up the episode. Our second selection sees 16th placed Everton playing host to 11th place Brentford. And Everton, they shared the spoils of West Ham in their last game. A goalless draw was the result after an evenly contested match. It was Everton's goalkeeper Jordan Pickford who picked up man of the match with his six saves in the game. In terms of form, this does mean no win in three matches now for the Toffees. But only a single loss from their last seven does show a certain amount of resilience, which will encourage their fans. They play a Brentford side who picked up a win in their last game against Bournemouth. It was the Cherries who opened the scoring through Evan Nilsson though, but the Bees battled back in the second half and hit the front to claim all three points. It was a fantastic game for the neutrals to watch, full of action with both sides combining for an XG of 4.14. In terms of form, it does mean that the Bees are mixed to say the least. Two wins and two losses in their last four really does cement their mid-table position. In terms of the head-to-head -head record, Everton actually picked up the win last time out, with Adrissa Gay scoring the only goal in a well-contested fixture. Longer term, this result did see Everton pick up their third consecutive win over the Bees, unbeaten in their last four head-to-head -head encounters. My prediction for this game is that neither side is glowing in terms of form, but given Everton's recent dominant on the head-to-heads means I'm leaning towards them. I do feel that Brentford give the big boys problems for the same reason in which I think Everton will do well in this game, and that's that Brentford play an attacking, aggressive, open style of football, really going to play into the hands of Sean Dyche's Everton side. It will sit back and look to pick up Brentford on the counter. I really want to be brave in this one, but Everton's mixed form and the fact we're coming off an international break is giving me a little bit of doubt here. So I'm going to back Everton to win the game, but just for another half stake in bet number two. Our third selection is probably the best game of the weekend, and it sees second place Manchester City playing host to 10th place Tottenham Hotspurs. And Man City turns in another disappointing performance in their away trip to Brighton. Harlem made the breakthrough through sheer power of will, battling the defender and the goalkeeper to bundle the ball into the net. From here, City did see a good amount of the ball, but really failed to create anything of substance. The game was completely changed with the introduction of Jao Pedro, however, scoring one and assisting another to turn the tables on the reigning champions. 2-1 the final result to Brighton. And this result does mean that City have lost back-to-back -back Premier League games and have lost four in a row across all competitions for the first time since Pep Guardiola took charge in 2016. They play a Spurs side who are also coming off an embarrassing defeat in their last game against Ipswich Town. They were 2-0 down at half-time, and despite Ben Tucker's goal giving them 30 minutes to salvage something from the fixture, 
They were ultimately unable to add a second, with the scores th finishing 2-1 to the Tractor Boys. In terms of form, this result did break a three-game unbeaten streak for Spurs across all competitions. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, the last game was not too long ago. Spurs won out 2-1 in the EFL Cup at the end of October. Two first-half goals from Werner and Saar saw them set up well. City did manage to get a goal back thanks to Nunez, but they were ultimately unable to add a second. And this result did break a two-game winning streak for the citizens. My prediction for this game is while City are considered the favourites in this one, this is the shakiest I've seen them in a while. They're really missing Rodri at the base of midfield, so rather than pick a side to win the game here, I'm going to back both teams to score, and here's why. Man City have seen both teams to score in eight of their last nine Premier League games and in four of their five home matches, whereas Spurs, they've seen both teams to score in four of their last five Premier League games. When we look at the head-to-head -head records, the Cup encounter last month saw both teams to score, and additionally, four of the last five games at the Etihad have also seen both teams to score. With all of this in mind, I'm going to back both teams to score for a full stake in bet number four. Our fourth and final selection in today's episode sees 17th place Ipswich Town playing host to 13th place Manchester United. And Ipswich Town are now off the mark with their first win of the season, last time out against Tottenham Hotspurs. Goals from Schmodix and Delaps handed Ipswich a 2-0 lead at the interval and they did hold on in the second half to pick up a vital three points, managing to escape the relegation zone heading into the international break. In terms of form, this was the first win of the year for McKenna's side. A record of one win, five draws and five losses isn't amazing, but it's enough to keep them out of the relegation zone and gives the town something to build upon. They play a Manchester United side who beat Leicester handedly three goals to nil. Garnacho and Fernandez were the goal scorers for the Red Devils, but despite the scoreline, the numbers did state that the game wasn't all that watchable, both sides failing to generate 0.8 xG or more. This lack of creativity will be something that Ruben Amorin would like to address. Will United get a new manager bounce or teething problems? In terms of form, things have been going a lot better since the sacking of Eric Ten Hag. A record of three wins, one draw and zero defeats in the four games across all competitions have really raised the confidence of Manchester United fans, and perhaps not all is lost this season. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, there's nothing recent to talk about, as the last competitive matchup was in 2015's EFL Cup. Manchester United ran out 3-0 winners with goals from Rooney, Pereira and Anthony Martial. This result does mean that Manchester United have beaten Ipswich Town in each of the last four competitive encounters. My prediction for this one is I think we're looking at another Manchester United win here. Ruben Amarin's first game is, is a real chance to hit the ground running against a side near the relegation zone. I'll betray my club once again in this series and back Manchester United to win for a full stake in the final bet of the episode. So there we have it, four picks in today's episode starting off with Leicester Chelsea. We're backing the away side, odds of 1.63, a half stake of £20 to return £12.60. Everton Brentford, we're backing the home side Everton, odds of 2.54, a £20 stake to return £30.80. The final game on the Saturday is Manchester City versus Spurs. We're taking both teams to score. Now I'm guessing the odds are going to be at about 1.4 because they're not released at time of recording, which means a full stake of £40 to return £16. And on the Saturday, Ipswich Town, Manchester United, we're going to be backing the Red Devils, odds of 1.77, a £40 stake to return £30.80. So across the weekend, we're going to be risking £120 to hopefully pick up as much as £90.20. Will we do so? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to tune into next episode. But if you have made it to this point in the video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content. Don't forget to check out the Continental Picks in the pinned comment down below. And as always, have yourself a lovely day.